Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Andrea. <laughs> this video has nothing to do with him, but oh, it's always to do with you though. <laughs> He is just staring at his reflection and I think me in the mirror. This video doesn't have anything to do with him but I just, this was the only time that I could get to film and he's here with me so hopefully he stays quiet but this video is all about productivity and getting things done. I get asked this question a lot, how do I fit everything into my day? How do I get it all done? And I have a video about time management and like how I organize my life basically where I do talk about what I'm going to speak about in this video as well but I'm just going to go into greater detail of how I actually plan out my day and how I time block schedule to get things done. Recently my sister Erica was over, she is 20, she's turning 21 in January, so she's 10 years younger than me. Obviously she's a 21 year old girl, she's young, um, she has no kids of her own, and she is in a very different place in her life, but she was asking me for advice on how to get things done, and she was like, I don't get it, you have four children and you seem to get more done than I do. The thing is, and this is something that I had to remind Erica of, I wasn't always this organized. I mean, I've been through periods of my life where I have been hyper organized and like, really good at productivity but then definitely when I was 21 I was nowhere near as organized or as productive as I am today so it's all about phases in your life so don't beat yourself up if you're not the most organized person or if you feel like you just can't get it together because definitely at age 21 or 20 even I did not feel like I had it together at all and sometimes I feel like having things in your life like four children it just forces you to be organized and to get everything together because if you don't your life is utter chaos whereas when you're just responsible for one person which is yourself it's easier to let things slide so i feel like there's no point in beating yourself up about it um you know obviously do things if you're unhappy with how you're living at the moment and you're unhappy with your level of productivity then this video is for you but i don't want to shame anyone or make anyone feel bad um because i am more organized than they are i'm also not the most organized person in the world and I still have days where I have like zero productivity but as a mom of four and just with a busy work schedule as well it's something that I can't really afford to do I pretty much have to be on it all of the time I basically do a thing called time block scheduling and this works best for me since I was a student so when I was at school and I was studying for exams, I used to be the best at creating study timetables and I would stick to them rigidly. Something about planning out times and allocating what you're gonna do and how you're gonna spend that time just speaks to me and it makes me, it holds me accountable and it ensures that I actually get it done. So I kind of took that mindset from when I was at school and when I was really good at you know, getting things done and getting work done and productivity and like doing well in exams. And I just put that to my life now as a busy mom. So what I do is I, on my phone, I go in my notes app usually because it changes every day. So I like to be able to, you know, delete stuff out and then restart every single day. So I will put in a daily schedule and I've shown this before, but I'm showing it again. But I basically just put out in half hour increments what I do and what I need to do every half hour of the day. I do this for morning, afternoon and evening. So you guys can see evening, for example. You can screenshot that if you want to. And this is just for today. So it obviously changes every day depending on what I have on. And if I have appointments or stuff like that, I will obviously slot them in. But this just really helps hold me accountable and ensures that I get everything I need to get done, that I don't forget anything, and that I am just on it. If you're starting from scratch, you're the least organized person in the world and you just need tips on how to get your life together, this is what I want you to do. So take something like this, go in your notes app or on a sheet of paper, whatever speaks to you, whatever you prefer, and write out your daily schedule. I want you to do it for an 
ordinary day. So don't do it for a day when like you're on holiday or maybe even the weekend might be a little bit different for you. Do it on like a, a bog standard ordinary day for you. So, you know, a, a normal day at school or a normal day at work or whatever you do during the day. So I want you to put down from the time that you wake up in half hour increments until the time you go to bed. And I want you to take this around with you for one day and write down every single thing that you do in those half hour slots. That could be anything. So I want you to write down, be so honest, put down if you wasted a whole two hours on YouTube, for example, or if you wasted a whole two hours on Instagram, put that down. You want to hold yourself accountable and you want to really see where you can use more time where you can where you're doing things wrong where you could improve that's what you're looking for so there's no point in writing out lies you have to be honest with yourself and write out exactly what you're doing for those times during the day because remember everybody has the same amount of time in a day it's just what we do with that time and what we choose to do with that time and how we choose to spend that time anybody can get nothing done in a day or everything done in a day okay maybe not everything but most things off their to-do list done in a day. It just depends on where you're allocating that time. So the best way for you to know that is to go through an ordinary day and just account for every single half hour of that day and what you did during those times. I'm gonna give you an example. For example, my morning. I have 5.45 a.m. because I don't wake up at 5.30, I wake up at 5.45, so that's why it's not half an hour there. So I have 5.45 a.m., wake up, let the dogs out. 6 a.m. workout, 6.30, skincare and makeup, 7, wake, change and feed Andrea, 7.30, get dressed and go downstairs. This is where the kids go off to school, so that's what that means. 8 a.m., feed dogs and make breakfast, 8.30, eat breakfast, 9, Andrea nap, dress Alessia for ballet, 9.30, wake Andrea, get dogs ready, 10 a.m., film a video, so it's 10 a.m. right now, I'm filming a video, 10.30, morning snack. <laughs> 11, feed Andrea and Gleam meeting. We've got a Gleam me a management meeting this, this morning. 11.30, feed Alessia lunch and put Andrea down for a nap. And that is my morning. So I also do it for the afternoon. Like I said, I do it for the evening. I have a bedtime allocated to myself as well. And I know, I pretty much know what I'm doing every single half hour of every single day. If I have things to do, in a day so i'll write a to-do list every single day of what i need to get done i actually write it the night before i generally will do this the night before as well um if i have a to-do list for example today i need to take our throw to the dry cleaners that's on my time block schedule i'm going to do that during nap time because that's the only time that i have to leave the house so this is why you need to figure out what times you have free, what times suit you to do, do certain things. But the only way you're gonna know that is if you take one day as practice and write it all down so that you know exactly where you're wasting your time and exactly where you might be going wrong if you are going wrong. So after you've done this, it will probably be a bit of an eye opener. You'll probably realize if you are not the most productive person, where you're going wrong, how much time you're actually spending on social media, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, whatever it is and how much time you're wasting. But don't get upset or shame yourself or feel bad about yourself. Get excited. Think of it as a positive. Think of it as a, a way that you can improve and just think how much free time you actually have that you didn't even know about. Like, look at it that way. <laughs> just flip it on the positive side. Um, I don't want you to beat yourself up and think, oh my God, I'm such a waste of space. I'm such a time waster. Don't think like that. You wanna think like, wow, I have all of this free time now that I didn't even know I had. A lot of times when we don't feel productive and we feel overwhelmed, we're kind of going around like a headless chicken and we just don't even realize that the answer is staring us in the face, but we've just been so, we're so disorganized and we don't we don't realize what we're even doing or what we're what's going wrong, that we just kind of like in our heads it builds up and you think that you have no time, but actually you have just as much time as anybody else. So I feel like this is a positive thing <laughs> when you realize how much time you've been spending wasted and then map out the next day. So map out, take your to-do list, map out the next day, allocate exactly like I showed you all the time slots and what you're gonna do in those time slots and you can leave some empty. So that's another thing. I don't always fill in 
every single half hour of the day because it's crazy. There's no way that anybody can work like a machine <laughs> and you need free time. And so I schedule that in too. So sometimes I leave things blank. For example, here at 3.30 p.m., I have something blank. <laughs> so that's probably a time where I'm gonna chill out, have a coffee, you know, maybe put my feet up for five minutes, depending on if the kids are home or not, depending on what Andrea and Alessia are like at that stage. But you know, you have to allocate free time as well and time to chill and relax. Don't go too crazy and don't try and pack too much in your day either. Just get the basics done that you need to get done. The other thing is, of course, things will change. Things will come up unexpectedly and that's life. That's going to happen. So. Don't get bogged down with that kind of thing. Like obviously expect the unexpected, but at the same time, it's not every day that that happens. It's rare that those unexpected things will happen. I know this is so cliche, <laughs> and I know you've probably all heard this phrase time and time again, but honestly, failing to plan is planning to fail. That is something that I live by, and I just feel like if you, plan for something and just have a schedule or some kind of knowledge of what's going to happen the next day it just makes things easier regardless of whether things go wrong or things come up the day-to-day -day, like ordinary routine is always going to be the same so for example again last night i was ready for bed and i was all tucked in at half past eight and i was pretty happy with myself i was going to get an early night you know i was all chuffed with myself that I had made it to bed by half eight and then my brother called and it was his birthday yesterday and I didn't actually get to speak to him so and he lives in America so obviously I answered the phone to him I didn't expect that I then continued to have a phone conversation with him for about an hour that was unexpected I was even plan for that but it was a good unexpected and I was really happy to speak to my brother so obviously I did it of course that meant that I got to bed a little bit later than I had planned for. But at the end of the day, it was a good thing because I got to speak to my brother and I was happy. Yes, it changed my bedtime, but it didn't change anything really important because I had got all of the things that I needed to get done, done <laughs> earlier in the day, if that makes sense. So what I'm trying to say is these things that come up and change things won't make that much of a difference when you're already scheduling everything and planning everything all the time anyway. Do you know what I mean? So when you have a plan and a routine and a structure and a schedule, those little things that crop up shouldn't make that much of, they shouldn't rock the boat that much if you're already being pretty organized. I don't know if that example will make sense. Hopefully it does. So I really hope that this will help you guys. I really just want for you all to feel productive and happy and calm and content. There's nothing worse than, you know, going through life like a headless chicken and just not really knowing where you are, where you're going in life, what you're doing. I feel like having a routine and a plan and a schedule like this just helps so much. You get so much more done. I promise you, I have four kids and that's not even a lot compared to some people, but all I'm saying is I get more done now in my day than I did when I was 21 and had no kids. So I hope that these tips will help you guys. Honestly, they're tried and true. This is what I've been doing for such a long time and it really works for me. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Look how good this baby is. He's honestly a dream. Subscribe for more. I upload Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Look, we're kind of matching today with this, this rust color. Hmm? Kind of. Can you say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. I'm going to have booby now. I'm going to have booby now. Say bye-bye. <laughs> Bye.